Okay, I'm here in the rainforest in Honduras, eastern Honduras, where they're pulling the gold out of the ground. Millions of dollars of gold come out of the earth here in the eastern end of, of Honduras. And I put up another little video of a day's take. It was, you know, I think it was $75,000 of gold. We did a little bit of scale, weighted on the scales and things. It was before it gets melted down and after it gets cleaned. I showed you guys the, the machine that spins it and cleans it. Now I'm actually here on the ground in the jungle where they're pulling the gold out. I'll give you guys a little bit of a rundown on the process, okay? They'll first excavate, then they'll dump all of the excavated dirt into that thing that looks like a little funnel chute thing. They'll dump it in there. Two guys with hoses will spray water on top of the gold. They actually just had a, a little bit of a a little bit of a, a bearing go bad in one of the machines, so that's the reason they're not actually doing it right this second. Otherwise, they work 24 hours a day in 12-hour shifts. A lot of time, locals will come with little pans of gold, and the, even the locals can make $300, $400 a day, $500 sometimes more. You know, on average, they can make on a day where they where they hit gold, they can make three to five hundred dollars. There's a lot of days they don't hit gold, but uh, but. That's the way they do it. You'll see locals with wooden bowls just swirling water from the river and you know they're, they pull out a lot of artifacts and different things. It's kind of sad to see that the artifacts uh, don't really get um, really, they just get tossed to the wayside because you know it's a poor economy country here and, and people are doing this, you know, they need to work to eat. After they excavate all this, they'll go back and fill it in, okay? I'll give you an example over here. This is an area where it's already been filled in. They have, they've, they've dug all this, they've pulled all the gold out. Now they've gone back and put the dirt back in and they put fertile topsoil so crops can be grown here in the future. A lot of times, if somebody's not working with the government or not regulated, they'll just dig a big hole, steal all the gold, they'll use chemicals to extract it because it's easier and then they'll destroy everything. These guys are, are doing it in a in a manner where this land can still be used for something else and they're never using any chemicals here. All right, this machine here is a generator obviously and it's also used to, as the main pump for water and they're hooking up another pump for water right over here. They're just uh, at a downtime right now. Um, as you can see, I'm continuing to just give you guys a little bit of a look about how they do things here. We came out in the Land Cruiser, very, uh, sp supposedly the route we took was unpassable. Check out some of the videos we'll put up on those. And uh, it definitely was, it was, a, it, was a, it, it was a trip for sure. It definitely was fun uh, and pretty adventurous. We, we, we hit some really nasty parts of the road, helped a lot of people that were stuck and stranded, helped move some, some people around we passed that were stranded and didn't have food and things of that nature. And uh, really, um, you know, as we continue the next leg of our trip, we'll be into La Mosquitia, the the deep into La Mosquitia, which is uh, very, um, you know, it's the last one of the last places on in the world that's a virgin rainforest, completely untouched, unspoiled. As I said, we just had a pump go down with a large diesel generator motor with a pump. You can see in the background went down, and these guys are. Setting up these smaller Honda pumps right now to pump the water into the separating machine there that'll clean and separate the first process of separating the gold from the dirt. Okay, again, we're here. Uh, at the location where they're pulling the gold out of the ground in eastern Honduras, El Proyecto, very close to La Mosquitia, the largest, second largest expanse of virgin rainforest in the Americas. Behind me, you can see an uh, excavator right here. What they do first is they pull all the topsoil back, okay, because the gold's gonna be underneath, it's gonna be in your bottom soil. So what they're doing here is removing all the topsoil and then after that they'll basically create a little pond of going deep and digging for the gold itself 
and once they they use different machinery I already showed you guys the Colombiana and they use this equipment right here connected to the Colombiana when they're ready they pull the they separate the, the earth from the gold but they use the obviously the bottom soil so what they're doing right here like I said they're removing the topsoil excavating if you look over here you can see kind of what uh, they were dealing with before everything and you know like I said they go in they pull out everything they don't use any chemicals and they re-put back in fertile topsoil so this can be used as a farm what a lot of the guys do here that aren't doing it legally and aren't doing it necessarily the right way they'll go in and just leave the gaping holes leave these big lakes and pits with nothing and also they'll use chemicals to extract the gold that'll that'll leach into the earth and poison people and animals and all that they don't do any of that here they don't use any chemicals and they actually put back the earth after they're done pulling it out it's part of uh, uh, what's going on in El Proyecto Honduras along with the government they have permission and they're doing everything legally okay so as you can see I'll go ahead and show you guys a little bit more of the equipment after this but this is the excavation the first step of getting to the bottom underneath where the gold is we have the Colombiana which is a machine that can separate the earth from the gold actually separate the gold from the earth so what it does is as the water and and bottom soil are put into the top of this at the same time these hoses here pump in water and the earth is put in by an excavator and basically what you what the, the final product you get in the bottom of this machine is the heavier the nuggets of gold okay and they're pulling anywhere from Five hundred to fifty thousand dollars a day out of here. It really can depend on what kind of what kind of yields you get. But right now, gold's on the rise, and you can see areas like this in Honduras where the government's getting involved. Uh, they're really starting to go to the next level with uh, figuring out how they have gold here, and they're and they're pulling it out. So again, this is part of a video series on gold in Central Latin America and this is one of the sites where they're doing it the cleanest and one of the best operations that they have around here obviously it's still very dangerous it's still the last frontier but this one just happens to be legal right across the river there's another operation that's not legal and they were pulling I've, I've seen I we passed it on the way in and also what you'll see is you'll see something like this pond right here and that's after they're done pulling the gold out a lot of people will just leave something like that and leave this empty hole but here these guys actually fill it back in and they 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 go ahead and clean everything out and they leave uh, leave fertile topsoil for the future to be to be able to plant crops and things of that nature all right question questions comments below let me know I'll get back to you as soon as possible I have, I'm out here in the jungle with no service right now but at the time of posting this video you know in I try to keep up with all my with all my followers and I try to you know keep everybody posted and keep the conversations going so comment below subscribe like share tag your friends everything like that and let me know what you think guys uh, you know comment respond get involved voice your opinion bone out
The bearing has been fixed in the new pump. Just got it up and running. They've been utilizing the small Honda pumps to clean the gold, separate the gold and dirt, clean the dirt. And now they're switching back to the big pump.